While surfing the internet, you might have come across appeals from strangers who are parents of children fighting a rare genetic disease for which the family needs a multi-crore injection in order to save their child. This rare genetic disorder is called spinal muscular atrophy or SMA. One out of 10,000 children is affected by this disorder, which essentially affects movement and it can be fatal or cripple the affected child for life. It affects the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system and voluntary muscle movement of the skeletal muscles. Now, even though this disease is life-threatening, a cure for it exists and yet it is out of reach for many of those affected by SMA. Whole communities, even strangers have to come together to fund the drug for few very lucky people. Celebrities are roped in by fundraising platforms as well to urge people to donate. And for those who can't, that is the end of the road. Why does the drug cost rupees 18 crores? Zolgensma, one of the most expensive drugs in the world, is manufactured by US-based Swiss biopharmaceutical company Novartis Gene Therapies. It was first approved on May 24, 2019 by the US Food and Drug Administration. Generally, a drug is priced depending on the years of painstaking research that goes into developing it, expertise required to make it and the research around it. All of it takes very long. Since the disorder is rare, the higher the price of the drug is. Also, Zolgensma is a one-time dose and a highly specialized drug and so it is also highly costly. So much so that people cannot afford it. But the irony is that it exists. Granted that discovering and manufacturing a new drug can cost billions of dollars. According to a 2016 study published in the Journal of Health Economics, it takes approximately $2.6 billion and more than 10 years to create a single new drug. But this is the slippery slope of drug pricing. Should a drug that exists and exists because of the work of the best minds in science not reach the people that they are intended for only because of a price barrier? And if we delve slightly deeper into philosophy, what's the measure of civilization? Is it only achievements in science? or the benefits of those achievements reaching out to the public and improving the lives of all people on earth and making a more humane society. That's a thought to ponder. On Monday, the distressing news came out of a one-year-old child dying despite receiving the multi-crore rupees injection in a Pune hospital. The drug was again crowd-funded, as is the case mostly. Researchers from MIT and Dana Farber Cancer Institute have earlier suggested financing costly drugs with the equivalent of something like mortgages in order to allow patients time to pay them as installments provided that the drug worked. I would like to leave you with a thought. You may have heard this before. Many years ago, an anthropologist, Margaret Maid, was asked by a student what she considered to be the first sign of civilization in a culture. The student probably expected Maid to talk about fish hooks or clay pots or grinding stones, but Maid said that the first sign of civilization in an ancient culture was a femur or a thigh bone that had been broken and then healed. Maid explained that in the animal kingdom, if you break your leg, you die. You cannot run from danger, you cannot go to the river for a drink, you cannot hunt for your food, so you become the food actually. No animal survives a broken leg long enough for the bone to heal. A broken femur that has healed, she said, is evidence that someone has taken time to stay with the one who fell, has bound up the wound, has carried the person to safety and has tended the person through recovery. Helping someone else through difficulty is where civilization starts, Maid has famously said. While the thousands of people who donate for the SMA causes for complete strangers are truly doing good, yet if we 
want as a society or as a system to call ourselves truly civilized, then one day we must come to a point where no one dies when we had the means to prevent that death. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.